Good afternoon, people. It's John. Welcome to the Cryptoverse. Today is 2.44 p.m., October 24th, Saturday. Um, I just want to put a warning out to people out there that this DeFi on uh, the V Exchange is being run kind of scandalous. Uh, I was testing it out myself. And it looks like these guys are manipulating the price, both VET and 8-hour token, in order that they get their hands on your VET tokens. Uh, I originally, oh, on this side, there was around almost 11,000 coin. And over here, we had 3760 8-hour tokens. And the, what it appears to me is that these prices are being manipulated so they could get their hands on your um, your V-chain. And I'm getting, and the longer I stay in this, the less and less V-chain I have. I originally put in 21,817 V-chain. Now, we'll do the math. You see the exchange rate? The exchange rates have been going down with the price. And there's a lot of funny stuff going on here with these large trades being put up to keep the price from going up. While the rest of the market's going up, these guys have been standing still because somebody is putting up these huge trades to keep the price from going up. This is very easy to see. The price is being suppressed because that's how they get their hands on your uh, your, your VET. All right, this this is very easy to see. I don't know how this guy thinks he can pull this off, uh, Sonny Lou. You can't trust nobody when it comes to crypto. Steadily watching my my coin go down. I go well, the price goes down. So does your holdings. And liquidity on V exchange. Then you look to see well the market's going up. It's the beginning of a bull market. Why is it still going down? Because somebody's in there meddling on the exchanges, pushing the price down and trying to keep it there so they can get a hold of your VET. There you go. Let them answer that. Let them try. Look at this. The price is suppressed. You see? They don't want the price to go up because then they can't get their hands on your liquidity, your VET. These guys, this is another one you just can't trust because there's too many fucking scumbags in crypto. All right, I'm out.